system community-based ecological mangrove restoration and what we try and do is work with communities and other stakeholders to facilitate natural regeneration and make sure we mitigate mangrove stresses. Mangrove Capital Africa is a project that aims at improving uh, conservation of the mangrove forest as well as livelihoods of the communities who are living in Rufiji Delta. And in understanding the status of the Rufiji Delta, we have conducted a, uh, a number of baseline studies that are the hydrology, the ecology, the socio-economic uh, stakeholders mapping and analysis, as well as a legal and a policy status. And currently we are uh, training the local communities as well as the different uh, stakeholders within the Fiji Delta on community-based ecological uh, restoration of the mangroves so that they can understand different techniques that can be used in restoring mangroves, but also uh, understanding uh, different issues related to uh, uh, mangrove restoration and as well as uh, getting them to know that uh, uh, restoration of the mangroves is beyond planting is not just a planting. The Mangrove Action Project has been teaching the participants that have been found by Wetlands International about the CBMR process. This is a multi-step process to try and improve the output of the mangrove restoration. It starts with doing a lot of site research, social uh, and economic, as well as biophysical. Uh, so we take the students onto the site uh, to look at things like salinity and pH. The next stage is to go and study a reference site uh, that tells us what nature should put there if it's given a chance. But also find out the history of the site and why there's no natural regeneration and try and understand the, the mangrove stresses that are stopping natural regeneration. We encourage students to then plan and map uh, the site and agree with the local community what they want to do and what has to change. And the solutions can be social as well as, as, well as biophysical or economic. We then implement the change needed. It can be improving hydrology, it can be installing fencing, social agreements like no grazing uh, or no extra cutting. And then we teach the students how to monitor the site to make sure that the agreements or the biophysical changes that we've made uh, are actually working. And if anything else is needed, then they can amend at the time. Finally, if there's not enough natural regeneration on site, then um, the, the, the participants can go to plant the site in order to restore it. It's quite important to adapt uh, what we have learned in the class uh, from the community-based ecological mangrove restoration training course. Everyone who attended this course can uh, adapt uh, what they have learned uh, in their uh, context, in their work when they go back home. Hapo zamani nilikuwa tunajua mikoko umazalia samaki lakini kwa elimu hii nilioipata nashukuru nimezidi kuboreka na nimejua hata sasa hivi nikienda kule kijijini kupeleka mrejesho au kuwafundisha wenzangu nitakuwa mwalimu tosha najua kila mbegu inayostahili nashukuru sana kwa sisi kushiriki katika mafunzo haya pamoja na hawa wananchi kwani tumekuwa tukilinda mikoko kwa pamoja kwa tunaamini katika hili tutaendelea kulinda mikoko yetu na kuiokoa